Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here, and I'm finally back. Um, I think it's been, I don't know, maybe around a, a week or so since I uh, have uploaded a video, and I know I promised maybe twice a week. Um, but I have been going through quite a bit of uh, schoolwork and all of that stuff, so... Um, now I realize I've actually hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm actually so happy with that. Um, I don't know really how to thank you. I'm gonna be doing something. I know that for sure. Uh, maybe just you know just give away something like that. Um, but I'm already at 1,000 subscribers. I honestly did not think that I would really ever make it this far. Now uh, I know uh, a lot of you guys are from Social Blade. Um, now I think I explained it in this video. Um, uh, so I I guess just welcome. You know guys, welcome. Um, this is just my main series that I do. Uh, it's just tutorials, um, quick tip of the week, um, but I think I'm going to be able to have time for two tips each week. Uh, if not, just one tip uh, a week and then maybe just something like manipulation or spear or something. Uh, just whatever you guys want. Um, just a quick uh, rundown of what my upload schedule is like. So, uh, enough said of that. We're going to get straight into it. Um, just qu wait, actually, just a quick explanation. Um, I did get a Mac. It's mandatory for me at my school, everyone to have a Mac, and I did get a Mac, and they actually were so kind to put all these amazing programs on here. Um, let me just see if I can, there you go. Uh, all the Adobe programs that I'm going to be needing to use in my school, uh, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so we're already going to just get through it. I'm definitely going to be putting a lot of my own programs, maybe like Cinema 4D, something like that. Um, so we're going to get straight into it. Um, now, I know uh, let's see. Okay, so I did. I'm now using CS6 because this computer can run literally anything. It's an i7. It's an amazing computer. Um, so uh, this week, uh, this tutorial, we're actually gonna be saying. Uh, I'm sh uh, sorry. I'm actually gonna be telling you how to create a 3D text, which is very common in Photoshop. But uh, a lot of people make this kind of 3D text. I'll just quickly show you uh, what they do and it's not really it's not really the same um, as regular 3d text maybe like in cinema 40 <clears throat> so like in cinema 40 you get like the real 3d text you get um, it actually does look 3d because it is 3d uh, in Photoshop you just get this sort of crappy looking thing that's uh, not really <clears throat> 3d it's, I mean, I guess it is 3D, but it's not, it's not uh, up to standards of what you would r really want it to be. So I'm going to teach you how to actually make 3D uh, text in Photoshop. Now I learned this um, actually not too long ago, maybe a few days, maybe a day ago or so. Uh, I, I was just playing around uh, in Photoshop and just found this and I thought it was really cool. So uh, what you're going to do, I'll just exit out of the whole thing. What you're going to do is just go to file, new. That's not new. Go to file, new, and then just do 1280, 720, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, then you just go to text and then do 3D. Well, this is what I'll do 3D. Okay. And then, I'm, oops, I'm actually going to change it just to black. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe it matters what color it is in the beginning, but if you want it to be a specific color, I recommend you to just put it to that specific color before you start working in 3D with it. So, First thing, uh, first thing you got to do is if this isn't here, which it should be, just go to Window and then 3D, and this will pop up. Now, what I use is 3D Extrusion. Okay, it's very simple. Just click 3D Extrusion. It might be on 3D Postcard, but just click 3D Extrusion and then Create. Now, depending on how good your computer is, uh, it might take a few seconds. Now, I do not, I do uh, know, but it, it's just up to you. So, with my computer, it'll take a few seconds. Now here. It's actually really cool. It's very similar to Cinema 4D. You can do a lot of things with it. Um, you can move it. You can click on it. You can drag it back and forth. You know, the same thing that you can do in Cinema 4D, which is actually really cool. Uh, rotate it. Do whatever you want with it. Now, um, what I actually found really cool is this little uh, thing that says Infinite Light. You click that, and then a light will actually pop up and then you can like control the shadow which I found really cool really interesting that you can do something like this so this will actually save a lot of time and with people who work uh, with manipulations save a lot of time doing shadows 
So um, just mess with that. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, then just click out to make the light go away. Now, uh, what I found you got to do is um, to get out of the 3D mode is do Command T or Control T, whichever you do, and it will convert it into a smart object. Now, I uh, did it where it doesn't show me the box again, so it just converts it uh, right away. Now, with you, it'll probably say, uh, "Do you want to convert this to a smart object?" Just say yes, and then if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to go through the hassle of uh, clicking yes each time, just click the check mark, uh, the little box that says "Don't Show Again." And then you have literal 3D text. Uh, it's actually really nice. Uh, it's uh, so many possibilities that you can do with this. Uh, I actually messed up with the lighting. Uh, it just looks weird. Um, so, uh, yeah, guys, uh, this is a new thing that I found. I think I'm going to be using this quite a bit in uh, many of my tutorials, uh, many of my other kind of speed arts. Just whatever, whatever comes up in the future, whatever I have uh, motivation to do. So guys, I hope this was very helpful. Uh, I found this very helpful for myself. I'm definitely going to be using this in many different uh, things. So guys, if you did like this, um, I'll just do my regular outro. Uh, so everyone uh, who just subscribed, this is what I do at the end of each intro, uh, of each video. If you did enjoy this and you want to learn more about Photoshop, uh, Cinema 4D, and Adobe After Effects, then please do subscribe, guys.